I'm like all confused with all my stuff. Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's stream. I am excited to hop in to Tomb Raider 2. Everybody has been asking once I started Unfinished Business on Tomb Raider 1. Everybody's like, is this Tomb Raider 2? Are you at Tomb Raider 2 yet? Tomb Raider 2 is a huge favorite of many people. So I am really excited to be diving into this. I'm, I'm going to be playing on Xbox. Like earlier, I did say I was going to switch over to PC. But I think I just want to beat them all. Like I want to stream them all on Xbox since I already did for the first one. I want to get the achievements on all of them. And then I'll just do, <laughs> I'll play on PC on my own time. <laughs> Favorite main theme, so soothing. It's good. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Do I consider myself a woke LGBT plus person? No, I am a Christian and I don't believe LGBT to be real. I believe it to be a sin, not an identity. And people should not identify themselves with sin. So, um... I pray that those who are involved in that community can find Jesus and um, be delivered from their sickness with that. Thunder, thank you so much for the 499 super chat. Says, thanks for being so judgmental. I ate meat, lifted weights, and read the Bible. Now I'm not fat. I am so proud of you. I figured after my last stream, I was like, okay, I'm ready to see some progress reports soon from people cleaning up their nutrition. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you for the nice words. All right. Jackpot. Thank you again, Thunder. Mr. Zero says, what do you think about having love for LGBT people? First of all, I don't call them LGBT people. I don't think LGBT is real. I don't like using even identifying people with that term because it's like, would you say, what do you think about al alcoholic people? Like we shouldn't refer them to their sin. That's the way I look at it. But people who are, are struggling with the sin of sexual immorality, um, I think we should be praying for them. I think we should have love for everybody, but we should not validate what they do if it is sin. We should never validate anybody's sin, and we should be praying for them and, um, also calling out sin, calling out sin in society so that, um, people who are sick within, like, struggling with those sins can see that it is wrong and that they can have a better life outside of it and a life with Christ and that they can have eternal life in heaven um, if they accept Jesus and through the blood of Jesus can be delivered from that. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to work. Like today, it just hit me. I just felt like it today. Uh, I felt it on my heart and to make that tweet I did and to, to talk about it in my video. I felt it on my heart. Like, I don't know. I can't speak for God and say God told me, but I felt it in my heart when I was just getting ready for my day. And I just, it just like popped in my head that, that sin is not an identity and LGBT is not an identity. It's not real. It is all sin that goes against God's design. So society has called this sin an identity to normalize it. Andrew Rob, thank you so much. 10, 10 gifted kick subs. Thank you. But yeah, the concept of sexualities isn't real. There is what God designed, which is a husband and a wife. And then there's sin. That is it. 
the whole notion and concept of, oh, everybody has different sexualities, that was designed to normalize sin. And that's also a slippery slope because of pervs out there who... I have to be careful with, with how I phrase things because of, um, you know, social media censorship, YouTube censorship. But just think about it. People can, whenever this whole idea of, oh, yeah, there's different sexualities. Well, that's a big umbrella of term and people can apply that to worse and worse and worse things like unspeakable things. Let's just say for the purpose of YouTube, I like. I'll just say like animals, for example, people can say, well, that's my sexuality. Like they're attracted to dogs like that or something <laughs> gross, right? Um, so, so that's why I, that's what, I, I don't know. It just hit me today. Uh, it hit me. I felt it in my spirit. Sexualities aren't real. It's, Jackpot. it's, you either follow God's design, husband and wife, or you are sinning against God's design, period. So we don't need to identify people with these labels. Ace of Spades, thank you so much for the prime sub. So we don't need to identify people with these labels because then they can, well, it's my identity. It's it's how God made me, which isn't true. God made, God had a design and has a design and it's in the Bible. Anything that goes against God's design is a result of sin entering the world. So yes, that means some people are going to be tempted with certain sin and other people are going to be tempted with different ones. Like there's a variety of different sin and so they might feel it's inherent, but it doesn't work like that. It's just because they are tempted with sin doesn't mean that's, oh, this is just how I am. No, they Jackpot. need Jesus Christ. And they need the blood of Jesus and to walk with Jesus to overcome that. Um, everybody with whatever sin you struggle with. Because um, on that same notion, people can say, well, I was born an alcoholic. Like, no, you weren't, dude. That's a sin you struggle with. Thunder with the 499 says, do you like Saints Row 2? It's my favorite game. Please don't say it's degenerate. Good night and have a fun stream. I think I may have played a little bit of it. I can't remember. I know I played at one Saints Row game. I never got super into it, though. Chad with the $5 super chat said, What do you think of Jordan Peterson and him quoting somebody saying, Most people don't find God because they don't look low enough. I don't quite understand what that quote means. I do like Jordan Peterson a lot in general, but I think that... I think he's learning in, uh, I think he's learning a lot in his, like, spiritually and regarding the Bible. I don't personally think he's got it all figured out. Basically, nobody does. But still, I, I do really respect and admire him. But I, if you want to know my opinion on why most people don't find God, I mean, the Bible already prophesies this. The Bible said, uh, wide is the gate, or wide is the path to destruction, and narrow is the gate. Um, I wish I was quoting this exactly right, but narrow is the gate through Jesus Christ to heaven and only few will find it. So when you look at society and you look at the world, most people will not go to heaven. It's sad, but it's true. And that's one reason why we do have to be a good witness. We can't be condoning sin. We can't be validating people and celebrating people in their sinful sickness we need to call it out because we do need to help be a witness to to people as many people as we can even though most won't find that narrow path through jesus but we can hope that we can help uh through god working through us that we can help more find it um christian Christian Rocker with the 499 says God brought his wrath upon his own son. People shouldn't think they can escape it just because they say they are good people. Well, Jesus Christ did die for our sin. Sin so that we can be redeemed. He took our sin and uh, was crucified on the cross and then rose from the dead so that through him we can be saved. 
Um, so, but that's the key through Jesus Christ. We have to be repentant. Push ups, thank you for the $2 super chat. Tomb Raider 2 is the best game after Thirsty Sword Lesbian. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to talk about that stupid, retarded Thirsty Swords Lesbian game. I talked about that on my Go Boom channel. That's the people making the tabletop RPG for Tomb Raider. It's tragic. It's tragic. All right, so anyway, <laughs> now that I got that out of the way, let's get ready to hop in the game. So here we go. I'm so excited. This has my favorite boss. That's what I got this tattoo of. The dragon. Or totally dragon. And if the Amonera right here, you'll ride the other thing. This game was creepy. Tomb Raider, it got progressively more creepy. Tomb Raider Last Revelation was very creepy. This is too though. Floating islands, super creepy. Now when you see later on in a cutscene of Lara opening that door, oh, I gotta, I can't speak over this part. I, I just love it. <laughs> Watching her jump off that helicopter, just looking so cool. And in, oh my goodness, I can't believe how great this looks. So now we can do more things too. I need to, I need to adjust the controls because we do have more, more things that you could. Okay, definitely tank controls. Also, okay, let me let me get that super chat. Wolfman with the four nine nine says thanks, thanks for sharing what God put on your heart. Thank you so much for the support. <laughs> I almost like when I felt that, when I felt that in my spirit and I just like, you know, thought about and, and was, was, uh, dwelling on that message. I just thought I got to tweet it or I got to talk. I got to tweet it. Got to talk about it. And it, I was like arguing with myself over it. Cause I was like, I don't feel like having drama right now. I am so tired of having haters. I don't feel like the drama right now. But then I also felt like, do it. You have to do it. If God puts something on your heart, you have to do it. And I'm not going to speak for God and say God told me to. But in my spirit, I felt like, I felt like I was supposed to. 
So I was like, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Now we've got, um, okay, that's good. I don't like, see, jump and action on Xbox are, oh wait, no, no, that's, that's right, that's right. Okay, let's see about, Duck dash. Why is this? Oops. I'm pretty sure dash wasn't introduced until three, but couldn't you duck into? Couldn't you duck and crawl into unless I'm missing something? Okay, so it did remember to take the action indicators off. Oh, maybe I forgot, but I could have sworn you could duck and crawl into. Look at how... Oh my goodness, look how beautiful. All right. That's the helicopter. Okay, we're gonna see a tiger. We're gonna see a tiger. Oh, these old sound effects. Oh my goodness, I love this. <laughs> hey, push-ups, thank you. Oh, I hear it. Thank you, push-ups, for the $2 <laughs> super chat. Angry at Mel for spoiling Tomb Raider 2 ending with tattoo. <laughs> My bad. Um. Okay. Where's the tiger? Where is the tiger? Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Guys, look. My hair is fading and there's some blonde peeping through from where I bleached it. I'm wanting to fade it more. I've been using head and shoulders shampoo on it to fade it more. Because I'm trying to change. I'm going to do a little bit different of a color. I've been bouncing back and forth between like, do I want like a cranberry red? Or do I want to go purple? Or do I want to go pink? <laughs> so I'll figure it out. But I have to fade this out first. <laughs> Where's the tiger? Okay. All right, let's do this. Well, I know for sure we can now, like... There it is. Look, we've got the first dragon statue. I could have sworn you can crouch and... I might be getting this mixed up, though. Let me make sure. Uh, I know you can shimmy across different ledges. Um, the controls for it. Walk, jump, size, up, roll, reverse. Action, look. No, I guess you can't crouch till Tomb Raider. Uh, three. All right. That explains it. All right. You ready? I want to get a screenshot with, with this. Uh, uh huh. There we go. <laughs> I wanted a screenshot picking up this. And there's the tiger. <laughs> Look, we can get a screenshot with the tiger in it. There is the first. See, that's what makes the secret so fun on Tomb Raider 2 is actually collecting dragon statues. Okay. Well, I wouldn't want to change pose. I kind of like the, just the default face. Let's keep everything default. It is a little dark, though, but... It is what it is. Yes! I, I really want to do the, uh... So you have... The sounds are definitely... The 
definitely has like a sharper, crisper sound than the sound effects on Tomb Raider 1. Um, and with the secrets, you've got like the stone dragon, the gold dragon, and the jade dragon. So I can't remember where all of them are. <laughs> I've never collected all secrets. Rodney <coughs> Nicotine, thank you so much for two months. Prime subbed, thank you. Okay, so. Tell that tiger to pipe down. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Ooh, there's going to be spiders coming up, too. Man, I played so much of this when I was a kid because Tomb Raider 2 was my favorite. Tomb Raider 2 was my favorite when I was a kid, but now as an adult, Tomb Raider 1 is my favorite. But who knows? I might change my opinions again. I keep... But Tomb Raider 1 has consistently been my favorite for... A long time at least a few years now i've stayed with tomb raider one being my favorite <laughs> but we'll see we'll see there's always room for adjustments now sometimes the order of my favorites will change with like um <coughs> tomb raider the last revelation used to be my second favorite but it's it, it's my current third favorite, but we'll see. We'll see as we continue. This looks so good, cause look, as a reminder, uh, looking in the old graphics, just like this is bringing me back to my childhood. Oh my gosh! And here I am, an old lady enjoying this again. Now watch out, there's a hawk over here. Crap, I'm trying to get like... Oops, not that. I want a backflip while I'm shooting. Okay, this is really tough to... Hold on, let's... Oh, it's a crow. I always thought it was a hawk when I was... Okay, let's try to... I want a backflip while I'm shooting! That's hard to do with the controls. Oh, look. <laughs> That's very interesting. <laughs> Look how she's... Nope. <laughs> I can't get the shot! I can't get the shot I'm trying to get! Unless I have to, like... I'd have to really adjust my grip. Okay, now down here we're gonna go for a swim. Do some stuff. Fight a tiger. It's all gonna be good times. Yes, there is a hidden T-Rex at the end. I, there's two of them. Um, we'll get to that. I thought... Maybe I thought wrong. I thought there was a secret. Okay, there's the tiger. I got her shooting midair, but it's not exactly the pose I want. Oh, he died too! He died! <laughs> I. Okay. Also, I don't know if you guys played the Nico Boss um, Tomb Raider 2 remake. Nico Boss made a remake of this on in like legend anniversary underworld style and it's great i streamed it way back when he made it should still be in my vods i had purple hair back then i think um 
which I did really like, but I much prefer classic style over over legend style because I do feel like legend anniversary and underworld are baby down tomb raider games however um Nico boss did a better job than what crystal dynamics typically does hey raider oh my gosh thank you so much raider Thank you for gifting 10 subs. You're amazing. I could have sworn there's a secret down here somewhere. Um, but I've got to remember how to get up there if that's the case. I can't reach that. Okay, let's do this. A two dollar super chat from Hall Baloney. Do y'all have Tiger Tail ice cream outside Canada? I have never heard of Tiger Tail ice cream in my life. I have not. driving me crazy <laughs> now yeah if I could get through that thing I could get up there but alas okay we're just gonna advance so I don't wanna bore you guys <laughs> Uh, I'm not running mods on this, no. I'm playing on Xbox and not mods today, but I could, um, I do later want to try playing with some mods on PC. Somebody made a mod of the Angelina Jolie outfit and it looks so good. I would love to do that. Hold on, let me go back here for a second. I know, oops, crap. I know it's the wrong way, but I just want to check something. <laughs> Loving these two Raider streams. Really get to hang out and relax with them. Thank you! I have been having so much fun. Okay, hold on for a second. I wanted to investigate something. Well, actually no. Let's just let's just advance. I need to save the extra exploring stuff for my own time and not board everyone. Someone should mod in my Halloween costume. Well, my Halloween costume was from the movie, so they've already done that with the movie mod. <laughs> okay, spiders. watch your video on the Tomb Raider TTRPG. Oh man, does that look awful. It it looks terrible. And I saw the creator of that, which one of my friends from the Tomb Raider community showed me. Uh -huh. It's a they them. Well, it's a, it's a fat woman who calls herself a they them. Looks exactly how you would imagine her. Um, she's the one who's who created that. Yes. 
that's the state of things. Crystal Dynamics is hiring people like that, outsourcing to people like that for these things, and ruining the franchise. It's <coughs> not good. All right, let's go put this key in here. Legacy says, I am a they them. Unless you are possessed, you are not. Spiders, my goodness, strong little fellas. <gasps> Look at her passport. It's so cool. Oh, this. All right, guys. Bigot. How am I racist? Tell me how I'm racist. I'm curious. Okay, ready, guys? I want. I was greedy and I wanted to pick those up. Uh, I. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go. This is a really fun session. I could freeze through it much easier if I'm not trying to pick up items. But I want to pick up items. This is, there is just like trap after trap after trap. I will say that's what, look at the passport. That's what makes Tomb Raider 2 so fun. And I can see why a lot of people like it. Tomb Raider, because it does up the ante with the traps. With the high octane adrenaline. That Tomb Raider 1 does, doesn't have nearly as much of that. So I can see how some people like Tomb Raider 2 better for that. 
Tomb Raider 1 is a lot more of a slow-paced adventure, um, which for some people, that's good. For some people, oh crap, I'm not going to be able to pick those up. It's too slow. Okay. Pick it up, Lara! Pick it up! I don't wanna- I missed the gold dragon, though. I think the gold dragon is in the, um... Oh, some people are saying the audio is too loud. Okay, let me turn that down a little bit. This does feel like it's louder than one. Dang it, I've been wanting to get all the secrets. I need to stop playing as greedy and just realize this is a stream run. I can always go back and get secrets on my own time. <laughs> but I want the dragon! Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, we got hit a little bit, but not too much. Whew. Oh gosh, I forgot. It doesn't end yet. Okay. <laughs> That's intense. I'm so bummed I missed the gold statue, though. I knew it was over there in that one segment. All right, Obsidian with a $5 super chat says, Melanie, if Batman skips church, what does that make him? A Christian bail? <laughs> That's funny. Sure, Colin with a $5 super chat says, is Tomb Raider 2 the game where Lara picks up the group of wannabes from the tabletop RPG? <laughs> Lol, thank goodness that is not the case. Um... Yay, there's Snakey, thank you so much for the t for gifting a Twitch sub. Um, oh, did the audio get better, by the way? Uh, Final Seven says, I mean, you are a censored word just for engagement and views. Not, I don't know what word you're trying to use. Um, I speak biblical truth, so I really don't give a crap about anything else. Uh, people will accuse me of, oh, you're just doing it for engagement, you're just doing it for views. Bro, I used to get all kinds of work in the gaming industry, and I got myself effectively blacklisted for, for sharing biblical truth. So, if you think I'm grifting, you're retarded. Uh, Sir Darwinning, random question, I may, maybe a Mandela effect, but were you at one point on a League of Legends panel show? Yes, I was on a show called All Chat with League of Legends. Yes, I, yay, Alex, how, thank you so much for the Twitch sub. Yeah, I had a whole career, uh, hosting in the gaming industry, and I, I, uh, mm -hmm. I chose to... To speak my mind against ah! against all the craziness going on in the world and uh, even if that meant being blacklisted and not being able to get jobs like that again I I chose that um, and yeah I did lose opportunities I lost sponsors uh -huh. all that sort of stuff but I, I wouldn't change anything I knew that that would happen, and it was, it was uh, something I was willing to do. I was willing to walk away from content creation forever if I had to, but uh, thankfully I didn't have to. <laughs> but I thought I would. Push up to the $5 super chat if I may ask a personal question. How did you deal with your doubt when you decided to return to your faith? I had doubt. Um, I had a lot of doubt when I returned to my faith, but I just kept going anyway. I, I, I walked in faith, and it was reading the Bible daily that strengthened my faith and that alleviated those doubts. 
So if you are having some doubts and stuff with your faith, read the Bible every single day. Do not skip a day. Um, that fellowship with God will strengthen your faith more than anything else ever could. Wait, I don't think I missed the gold statue. I think the gold statue is actually here. I got it confused. I thought the, the jade one is the second one. The gold is the last one. <laughs> yes, and I do Bible readings on YouTube. You guys can watch me at Bible Time with Melanie Mack on YouTube if you want to hear me read the Bible. After all the times I've seen you on side scrollers and enjoyed your contributions there, that uh, that I should come over here and sub. It feels good to know there are other believers out here in the gamers. Space. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Okay, here we go. See, normally you can take this thing and glide back over, but we're gonna we're gonna fight some T Rexes. <laughs> And get secrets. <laughs> Michael Rafferty said, I don't want to gain the whole world and lose my soul. That's exactly what my way of thinking was whenever it came to me being canceled and all that. Um, I thought, okay, yeah, right now, you know, before I started speaking out uh, against all kinds of stuff, it was like, okay, well... I'm getting opportunities. <coughs> I get all kinds of opportunities. All these jobs, hosting in the gaming industry, get to travel the world, do all this stuff. I did that for a long time. And uh -huh. I loved it. But I got to a point where, well, society started getting so crazy and other streamers were... <coughs> All sharing the approved narrative, all telling people that they have to believe a certain way and all this. And I was like, I, I have to speak out and I'm not going to lose my soul to this. I would rather lose all of this than, than just keep quiet uh, when, when I need to speak out against a lot of this nonsense and that was the wrong way that's how you get back up here but I don't need to go here I need to drop down um so yeah that's what I did it was worth it like yeah I still miss being able to host stuff I loved hosting I loved hosting and at events and um for different companies and stuff I had a blast and I do miss it but <sighs> I have no regrets. None. <sighs> yes, half sack. I agree. The whole trans ideology is it's it's fake it's not real nobody is born the wrong gender ah dadgummit i goofed up it's it's not real it's um it's made up and it's a it's not a real thing we should be praying for people and not validating their delusions and for a lot of these people, it's it's a result of them watching too much corn. You know, what rhymes with corn? And you know what? <sighs> people are like, well, what's too much in moderation? No, no, you shouldn't be watching any of it. It's... It will rot your brain. Uh -huh. um, and that's partially why... Let me remember how to get the... I'm trying to remember the shortcut for... Layers. I thought it was crap. I can't remember. What is the shortcut for flares? Button shortcut for flares. Tomb Raider 2. Quick flare. 
Uh. Okay, what? Do I don't want touchpad. They're talking about PS5 controls. All right, so where is... Combo moves. Where's the flare? Press once to pull out flare and light it. Press again to throw it. Oh. L2? Well, L2 doesn't do crap on this. I'm trying to remember. Crap. There's no dedicated flare button on this? Crap, that sucks, because, like, in the old school games, there's an actual dedicated flare shortcut. But it's fine. We'll use it here. Ooh, I bet you could get some sweet screenshots with the flares. Tomb Raider 2, you're gonna need flares. I mean, that's where they were introduced. Giga Dean, thank you so much for the sub. What? Why can't I see? Why won't it let me get the screenshot with the flares? See how it's just dark? It turns the flare off. Okay, that's lame. All right, y'all ready to fight some T-Rexes? Ooh, look how good it looks here. There's the gold statue. I... I got it mixed up where I thought... Oh, I need to try to get... Oops. There we go. That's a cool screenshot. Oh! I really... Okay, look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness, this is a gym. This is what dreams are made of. I like, I don't feel like I have to change anything with that. Okay, let's make sure. We have a good angle there. All right, I love it. Yeah, Tomb Raider 2 definitely is upping the scariness too. Oh my goodness, did he kill me? Oh no, I'm okay. <sighs> Ouch, get away! Got him. Now there's a second one, I'm almost certain there were two here. Or was there just... Oh, there's tigers. I got all the secrets! <gasps> and I got the grenade launcher! Ah! There he is! I knew there was two here. Ouch! Oh my goodness, they're kicking my butt, though. The T-Rex is on here. Okay, that's not as good of a screenshot. <laughs> I'm trying to get all of these screenshots. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! Got him! Whew. I am so stoked. All the secrets on level one. All the secrets. We got the grenade launcher. Ha! Ah, feels good. Okay. I like to do multiple saves. I've learned my lesson because... Um... 
if you don't yes i can see i know because if you don't it's dark in here i'm just so used to classic tomb raider games where you like save somewhere that will kill you There it is. All right, I'm so dope. Ricardo says, have you heard about mirrors being portals for demons? I think that's witchcraft stuff. I don't tamper with witchcraft. No bueno, that includes zodiac sign crap. No, thank you. That's witchcraft. I am not about that life. These better not be the immortal spiders. Crap, they're the immortal ones. I think. Oh, no, they're not. Okay. Here we go! Oh my goodness, I forgot how much I adore Tomb Raider 2. Oh. I really did want to heal, but I might have to. Ah! No! Let's try my best to do this without healing. I'm trying to save medipacks. <sighs> Crap, I gotta do this again? Oh, hold on, let me... I am s salvaging medipacks. I do not want to get rid of them. Is this how you can get away with not using... Hold on, I know what I'm doing. Oh, wait. Okay, I know what I'm doing. We're good. I really don't want to have to. Okay, I'm going to just try to rush through the spiders. Not get killed. By those tigers. Yeah, we don't need to see. Alex, thank you so much for the 245 bits. Zodiac signs and horoscopes are for weak-minded people who want so badly not to be responsible for how they live their lives that they'll blame bad things and irresponsible behavior on mustards. I agree. I think it's that, and it's also just people who are um, just kind of fell for it. I, I say ignorant, but I don't mean stupid. I just mean, I mean, everybody's ignorant to something. Um, and that's, they, they're just duped, I should say. Where are those spiders? Never seen spiders take so many bullets! Cassie with the $2 super chat. Did you get my email about my book? Project 7. Oh, I'll check that. I have been so swamped the past two weeks. But I will I will for sure give that a check. Eliza with a $2 super chat says, I respect you being open about your Christianity. Thank you so much. It certainly doesn't give me popularity points with a lot of people. But 
Hey, I, I cannot let that stop me. <laughs> my butt there i don't want to use a medipack i'm trying like i will get full health at the end of this i do not want to use a medipack already thank you anonymous for the super chat Ooh. okay the side I just don't write it. Okay, we did it. We did it. That was much better. Oh, yeah. I think that was the one I already answered. Why did it show up as anonymous? Even though <laughs> the alert showed up as anonymous, but the name showed up for real there. Okay. Legacies. You are a racist bigot. And trans people aren't real. Thank you. There we go. There's Cassie's. Oh, here we... I love this cutscene. I love it. This is gonna look so good in this these graphics. Pardon me, if that was just your way of trying the doors for me. Oh, Judith's voice is <laughs> so good. on my gearing. Though not anymore. So after you. Somehow, you don't behave like you got the monk's blood. I understand that somehow is in my favor. So indulge me about the dagger. I'd be indebted with your life. These doors are waiting for the right one. The right time to arrive. And then the dagger's blade will honor the heart of those who believe. So unless you pledge your loyalty as well. And which one is that? To the sins and fortunes of Marco Bartoli. <laughs> Perhaps not just yet then. I love how she's so unfazed. She's just like, okay. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. Gianni Bartelli, Via Caravelli, Venice. Venice, you guys! I got all the secrets. Okay. Oh, I forgot just how much I love this game so much. I think I have been undervaluing Tomb Raider 2. Because it is a lot more higher action. I think I have been undervaluing it lately. I will say. I mean, not that I, I say it's amazing and stuff. But I have not been. I've always been saying Tomb Raider 1 is my favorite. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm so hyper focused on that. That it's like. I've not been giving Tomb Raider 2 just the credit it deserves. It's such a great game and it's just giving me so much nostalgia because i played tomb raider 2 the most when i was a kid oh it looks so good in these graphics i man when i was a kid i played so much tomb raider 2 it's insane I just, it's bringing back so many good memories, like. <laughs> uh -huh.
return to that momentarily. <laughs> Push-ups with a $2 super chat. Just admit it. I was right. I'm always right. Hashtag humble. I wouldn't say you're always right, but I understand why you love Tomb Raider 2 so much. I used to say Tomb Raider 2 was my favorite. Um, When I was a kid, it was my favorite. And for the longest time, I considered Tomb Raider 2 my favorite. But... Then the last time I replayed uh -huh. all of the Tomb Raider games, like in succession, um, like in order, that was in like 2016. Um, that's when I was like, oh no, Tomb Raider 1's my fave. Um, and Tomb Raider 1 might still be my fave. I'm not saying it's not my fave, but I am saying I have been devaluing Tomb Raider 2. Um, if I remember correctly, yeah, she can make that. All right, let's just go here. I cannot wait for them to remaster Last Revelation. And Chronicles 2, because I do like Chronicles, but Chronicles is definitely my least favorite of all the classics. Now, I... Last time I beat Tomb Raider Chronicles would have to be, like, uh, two years ago, I think? A year or two ago? I have find when it I do find when it comes to <coughs> to the classics I find I have found myself beating Tomb Raider one over and over like every year <coughs> and then the other ones not as often well I beat Tomb Raider one usually twice a year. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> there we go. But, to get over there, let me remember, oh yeah, 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 hold on, hold on. It's coming back to me. <laughs> Last time I played Tomb Raider 2, I was playing it on, which, that wasn't that long ago. That was less than a year ago. I was playing Tomb Raider 2 on my PlayStation Vita. Let's see Mr. Glass's rankings. Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation, Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Chronicles. Okay, interesting. After I after I beat these remasters, I'm going to update my tier list. At least for the first three. Like, I got to wait for the Last Revelation and Chronicles remasters before I can update it fully. I'm like, I know, like, I beat chronicles recently i know chronicles is my least favorite of the classics i know that's not going to change but i definitely want to see if replaying um replaying the remaster or playing the remasters will make me update my tier list this is just so beautiful I need a screenshot. The lighting is great. You can see Lara Croft so well. Just look at that. She is perfect. T 
对。There. Just like I don't even like to get too complicated with it. Now the foot is going through it, but I still want it. Ooh, even that's a cool screenshot. Well, did it work? Okay. All right. <gasps> crap, 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 crap. Oh, we made it. We're okay. I thought I jumped too far. All right, now for the boat. The gold statue already. And didn't I get the jade one as well? Where was that stone one? Or did I get it? I don't think I did. I think that's actually... Is there a way to see the... the... Can't remember if you could see... Keep track of your secrets. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Alex. Push ups, yes, I do remember this part. Uh huh. As you can see, I've known where to go. <laughs> But you do have to use flares. <sighs> Hence why they give you uh, plenty of them. Uh -huh. There's the stone one. Now the jade one is uh -huh. in... I'm almost positive I remember where the jade one was. So we, we, we have yet to get to that part yet. It's near that little... Slopey thingy. Uh, next to that... I'll show you guys.
probably retconned it with the Tomb Raider Legends series. That's possible, which would be stupid. Which she was really tall in Tomb Raider Legend, but I think they, uh, Crystal Dynamics likes Lara Croft to be short for some reason. Even though her character model is very, I mean, not in the, in the rebooted games, her character model is tiny. But in, um, but in, hold on one second, but in, um, Legend, the character model was stretched. She would be more like six foot tall. Draw says, I seem to recall she was five foot nine. That's what, how tall Lara Croft's supposed to be. But Crystal Dynamics doesn't like Lara Croft to be five foot nine. They like to make her really short. And it's stupid. But that's what they do. Okay, this part, which... That's what that lever opened here. And I still have to... Well, there's a number of ways to skin this cat. But... Um... Okay, I'm not going to do this right now, though. Here we go. Here we go! So we open that. Still gotta open this. the flare shortcut worked on this. Yes, Lara Croft is supposed to be tall. That's how she was created to be. And unfortunately... Okay, this is right back to that. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna go that other way. Do I have any friends that are gay? First of all, I don't think gay is an identity, I think, but I do have friends who, um, who are trapped in, I say trapped, but they're lost in the sin of homosexuality. Um, they know I don't support it, but I'm still friends with them, but I don't support it. Austin with a $5 super chat says, Hey Mel, I'm playing through Tomb Raider 1 and forcing myself to get good at the tank controls. Cheers for another, another Tomb Raider fan. You got this! You'll get you'll get good. There's a bit of a of a learning curve, but you'll get it. And it will be so worth it. Okay, let me climb up that thing. I'm trying to do I'm trying to do everything but go that way right now, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Thank you. Yes, I agree, Lufa. The tank controls are way better than the modern controls. Joshua says, um, Melanie, you know being gay is sinful, right? Being, like I said, being gay isn't real. It's not an identity. It is a sin. It is not an identity. So, homosexuality is a sin. Yes, I've been very clear on my stance with that. I don't know where your confusion is falling.
Oh, let me make sure on that. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I saved it after I pulled that one lever. better talk to your nephew and tell him to be straight you should tell your nephew to you should encourage your nephew to find christ and to turn from uh, the homosexual behavior i i agree with that all right let's go fight this dude i hate this dude up here Super chat from the Gene, the General Z. Two dollars super chat says LGBTQ sexual confusion. Pray to cast it out. Amen. Um, I don't, I don't like, um, I don't like people calling themselves LGBTQ because it's not a real identity. It's sin, um, and people shouldn't be identifying themselves with sin. So, um, they are. They are lost, and uh, and yes, it should be. Pray to cast it out for sure. Pray to cast out that uh -huh. that behavior, that demonic um, influence and temptation that they are engaging in. Um, and likewise, we should be praying for people who are. Uh, watching pornography, people who are taking part in promiscuity and fornication, that is also an abomination to God, and they are lost in that sin, and they need to find Jesus so that they can turn from it and go to heaven. All right. Oh, oh, crap. with the five dollar super chat says use your pool to get a dev to make games out of both angelina jolie tomb raider movies also brad and angie aka mr and mrs smith back together <laughs> trust me i don't have pull with game devs game devs hate me because i'm not woke i am a christian uh -huh. who believes in the bible and is opposed to all of their satanic ideologies trust me i have no pull with game devs Oh, there he just spawned there. I was gonna say I've seen that dude there, but he just spawned there. <gasps> <gasps> I 
I know being a Christian and having Christian morals is can is uh will make the world hate you. It's counterculture. Uh huh. guy outside walking around that guy that just spawned in there those in power are using gay people at, to an evil purpose here's the thing is I like I said earlier there's no such thing as a gay person there is God's design and their sin that is pulling them away from God's design. So they are committing homosexual behaviors, which are a sin, but nobody should put their identity uh, into sin. That shouldn't be their identity. But we can pray for them. That's why I don't even like using that term. Oh, a gay person, because it's like... That's not their identity. They're a human being made in the image of God and they shouldn't be their identity shouldn't be on on what God finds an abomination. That shouldn't be their identity. There we go. Got that heck in heck. All right, so I got the key. Okay, yeah, the satellite there with things up there. Hey, Ian Selfort, thank you so much for gifting 10 subs. You're amazing. 10 more subs. Thank you. Legacies with the hundred with the hundred bits says, why is there so much confusion about whether homosexuality is a sin when it's explicitly condemned in scripture many times? Exactly. There shouldn't it there should be no confusion about it, but sadly, sadly, it's been so normalized in society, and that's why we're at where we're at, to where when you speak biblical truth about, hey, this is a sin, then you get called names and you get called hateful when the Bible is very clear on it. Oh my goodness, this level is a hard time with Medipacks. Ugh. On Tomb Raider 1, you can get away with, uh... You get away with not using a lot of Medipacks, but Tomb Raider 2? <sighs> the struggle is real. Okay, uh -huh. that opened that part. Okay, so I think there it is. There it is. I knew it was here. See, I'm telling you, I've played Tomb Raider 2 probably more than any other Tomb Raider game when you count when I because when I was a kid. Uh -huh. So I, I'm getting all the secrets. <laughs> I got the secrets. And I have Oh, I already have my automatic pistols. And 280 ammo on them. I haven't been using them, but I see that's the thing. On Tomb Raider, on Tomb Raider 1, I will only use just pistols for a lot of it. But in Tomb Raider 2, it definitely helps to use the other guns more often because it's a lot harder of a time. Okay, I need to get my boat. So there's that. 
I have a key as well. Let me see if I remember where to put that. Uh, Venice is a little bit of a maze. Okay, so I've got all the secrets. So I don't have to worry about that, which is fine. Do I like Harry Potter? I've never really been a Harry Potter fan. I watched like two Harry Potter movies. I feel like when the first movie came out, I was just a little bit too old for it and it just didn't, and I never read the books. Felt like I was a little too old for it, so I didn't quite get into it and I, I think I was babysitting when I watched another Harry Potter movie that I just didn't like. Vira with the $10 super chat says found this on Steam. Don't know if it'll help. Found out how to draw a flare with the controller. Press and hold inventory button while holding. Then press RB, R1. That works with the old controls, but it doesn't work for... On the remasters, I think they took away that option. Because I tried that and it just doesn't work. <laughs> but thank you. Yeah, because I'm like doing it right now and it's just not working. Okay. All right, let's continue. Figure out where this key goes, because I forgot. Oh, yay! A $20 super chat from Joseph Whitehouse, who says... There are people that make the world a better place because they live or die. Matthew 25 sums it up. The least we have done to them, we have also done to God. I met pagans that treated people better than Christians in life. That's the thing is um, it is so important that we treat people well as Christians. But at the same time, we shouldn't be validating shouldn't be validating sin that wouldn't be treating people well but we should love people though for sure okay i feel like there's something i'm missing here chip the rescue ranger thank you for the prime sub But yeah, treating people well doesn't mean being a doormat. Doesn't mean letting people mistreat you. Doesn't mean validating people. We should never ever validate people's sin. Someone said they took quick flares out or did they bind it to something else? I'm under the impression they took them out, but I could be wrong on that. I, d I haven't found. I already pulled that lever. Can't you see it's down? Unless I save it. Yeah, that's down. See? That's what does that, um... That's what does that one hatch. Oh, wait, this opens and closes this hatch, though. Let me move this up here and pull it again. <laughs> then we can get the boat here. Now, we gotta be careful. There are... I gotta figure out where to put my key, though. I gotta figure that out. So pulling that back up, that's that. But um, <sighs> all right. So we got the boat. Why hasn't the Venice theme played? That's what I want to know. The normal Venice theme here. It hasn't played, and it's 
one of the best themes in the whole game. Wait, is it? It's playing now. It's playing. I was going to say, I was about to get mad. It's the best. I already went through that door. It's closed again. Okay, I need to figure out where to put that key. Save it's been a bit. We have to be careful about them. Whew, okay. Okay, now this is important to know the shortcuts and stuff because there's a time to. Vira with the $5 super chat says shadow souls in chat says shortcut flare by pressing and holding the pause button and the walk button. Not with these control, not on the remasters. Like they're confusing the classics. On the remasters, the pause button is changing. The it looks like on the remasters, it's not a thing. Thank you for the super chat though. See, look, that's all this does. It doesn't do anything. You thought there were two boats? There there are two boats. See, there's one. See? <laughs> two boats. I have some people in chat saying, turn the music up. And some people are like, turn the music down. Uh, there's no touchpad on the Xbox controller. MGS. Menu button. I've done that too. Select button. I don't. I never call it menu. It's select. That doesn't work either. I'm telling you guys. It's not on the remasters. It doesn't work. Here's where my key was. Masters on Tomb Raider 2, it does work? On Xbox controller, what did you do? Because I'm doing the, those buttons and it's not working. Crap, it's not. It's both. Crap. 
Come on out. I will show you guys me pushing the buttons. See, look. I just can't reach that high. This is the walk button. See, watch me walking. Okay? Watch me push walk and select. Oh, it worked this time! I've tried this a hundred times! Let me see. Do I have to push walk first? No. But... Oh, you just push them at exactly the same time. All right, thank you guys. <laughs> Joseph with a $20 super chat. I feel like people get too consumed with being right over doing right. The whole point of Jesus just goes out the window. No matter what you believe, just at least try to, to do good things and try to make the world better. Well... By Christi as Christians, we are supposed to share the gospel, and we shouldn't. We should be encouraging people to find Jesus um, uh -huh. for sure. Because if we don't care, we're just like, okay, you do you, I do me. I just that's not that's not the biblical way to approach people. Because we should care, and we shouldn't want people to go to hell. So even if people will call us mean or whatever. We still got to call sin, sin, and we got to warn people. There we go. Now we're ready for this, but we got to be careful because there are mines. Also, there is a timed. Let me make sure if that, well, if that lever is, there's, I don't think that part is timed. I think it's later, but we'll find out. There's a time part that that door... Oh, there's one that's open. This is closed. That final door... Well, I'm so relieved to know that the flares... The flare shortcuts work because it's a pain in the butt having to... You. Having to get flares from the menu. So thank you, everybody, Showing me that. Yeah, it's that thing. It's that thing. That door will be time. Okay, so we open one. Let's let's keep going. Ghost with the 199 says, Bless you, Melanie. Go boom and praise God. Thank you so much. Okay, hold on. So we got one. We need to open that other door. And then we're going to have a timed area we'll, to get to that last door. So let's figure this out. <laughs> Chala boat is scratched up. Lara Croft gives no hex. <gasps> <He's back. laughs> ah! Lost my footing. <laughs> One medipack, and I don't want to use it. Okay, so he's got another key for me. Uh huh. Um, let me use it though. <sighs> See, normally, whew, normally I uh, yeah, like Tomb Raider one. Yeah, you got medipacks to spare for days, but Tomb Raider two is a little more difficult than that. Joseph Whitehouse says, I'm not 100% sure how you're going to save souls without trying to make the world better since we only know the world. First John 2.15 says not to love anything in the world. That's true, but you can save souls by calling out sin. That is a, lo a loving thing to do. Um, and that does make the world better when we call out sin and we don't accept sin. 
Um, just look at first and second kings. Look at the kings who were obedient to God and tore down the idols and put an end to the shrine prostitutes, the male and female ones. Society was a better place when they did that. So sometimes doing the right thing and helping make the world a better place makes some people call us a bad guy, but it's not. So Joseph says, again, I've met many people of different beliefs and just because they're different doesn't make them evil, but they are on the path to destruction. And if we don't call out sin and we don't teach people the gospel and if we accept what they're doing, then we're accepting them going to hell. And that's not very loving. So they need Jesus. We need Jesus. Everybody needs Jesus. So if they don't change and if they don't turn to Jesus, they will go to hell. And um, it's our duty to help, to help spread the gospel to as many people as possible. Okay, so this should open that second gate. Extreme V wants us. I thought this was on gaming stream. It is. I'm playing a game and I'm also the one running it so I can talk about whatever the heck I want and you can either get over it or leave. Show up for a second. Come on out. Ah, the damages. Uh huh. Yes, exactly. It's my stream. I'll talk about whatever I want. If people don't like it, they can do their own stream. But you're going to walk in my house and tell me how to do my stream? I don't think so, bro. Oh, just be, just sit there and shut up. No, I don't think so. I'm going to say whatever I want. Here we go. Alright, so we're about to run into that part that's gonna open those doors, but it will be time. Okay, so this gets us here where we need to be. Hold on, let me think for a second. Let me think for a second. Yes, I'm multi-streaming. I'm streaming on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. Um. Okay, that's where I...
beautiful music again. <laughs> dragon out of here. This door, though. This door. <coughs> it looks like it doesn't open. Alright, so... Push-ups, I played this last year. Shut up. I played it less than a year ago. <laughs> it's like you play a million games. You're not going to remember every single thing. boat go. I need to get that. I lost me other boat. Okay, I checked that again and the door was closed. I just gotta remember where the... Push-ups, just shut up. Let me play my game. Like, freaking shut up. You'll see why I said that. Oh, oh, you forgot. Oh, oh, just dude, shut up. That's obnoxious. I'm streaming. And I've played a million games in between. I'm not going to remember every single thing. Like, come on, dude. streaming and let's point out how retarded you are. I swear. Like, I appreciate you push-ups, but sometimes you purposefully just try to be rude for no reason. And it's like, bro. So it's, it gets obnoxious. It gets so annoying. Oh, I'm gonna just poke and say something just to try to make her mad. It's like, okay? Can you knock it off? something that times that door. It's gonna open and then it's time and you have a limited time to get through it. That was one of the last things in it. Mouse with a five pound super chat. Here's a fiver. Hope it helps you calm down. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
it's just like, oh my goodness, Tomb Raider games are full of so many puzzles. You play a whole bunch of them and they get like merged together sometimes. You're not gonna remember every single thing constantly. Especially when you play other games in between and there's always gotta be that one guy. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you forgot. I can't believe you forgot them. It's like, okay. I, they're not streaming. They're not streaming showing themselves forgetting things. Alex, thank you for the $1 super chat. But I'm gonna shut up now, cause like, I'm probably being too mean right now. But oh my gosh, it gets so annoying. And like, if some people do it every once in a while, it's one thing, but push-ups is constantly doing this. Push-ups is constantly just always trying to say something rude all the time. And it's like, okay, I've shut up about it for so long, but I'm sick of it. I'm so freaking sick of it. It's annoying. So yeah, I'll shut up now. <laughs> I don't want to ban him because he's been nice too. But I don't know if that's just his humor or whatever, but it's obnoxious. Yes, push-ups, two, three, four, five. You. You are constantly making jabs nonstop. It gets old. I'm sick of it. Oh, you forgot this? I can't believe you forgot this and you call yourself a Tomb Raider fan. Oh my goodness, it took you that long to figure out this puzzle? Oh, this, that, and the other. Like, dude, chill. Like, that's rude. You're being a jerk. You do it all the time. Constantly, it ain't cute, okay? It's not endearing, it ain't cute. It's obnoxious. But I'll shut up because I'm being too mean right now. So I'll shut up, but I'm just saying, I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. It's not cute. <laughs> All right, I'll leave it at that. Cause I've been too aggro for too long on here, but come on. <laughs> I need to find where I left that other boat. <laughs> you fed that troll a buffet. That's the thing is he's not being a troll. He just has no self-awareness. The dude has zero self-awareness. Like I saw him at an event and he was very nice. But he has no self-awareness. He doesn't think, oh, maybe this is rude. And so I'm trying not to hold it against him and I've been patient, but gosh, like it's time to take the kid gloves off sometimes. <laughs> like it just says, I was being a troll earlier and she got mad at me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I knew. Because you were just, like, obviously making a joke by calling me a bigot or whatever. But it's like, when someone is streaming and they're keeping up with chat and the game and all this stuff, it's like, I didn't, I came on here to relax and chat with you guys while I'm passively playing this and to hang out. I didn't come on here to put my try-hard gloves on and be intensely focused and get everything freaking perfect. I'm here to relax after a busy day. Jimmy says, like, come on, Melanie, let's play the classic two games more than I can count. Plus level editing. Exactly. I have... Yeah, it's just... There it is! There it is! It's just like, dude, if I'm streaming and paying attention to other things, trust me. I'm keeping up with three different chats. 
I'm not gonna be playing at the top of my game. I don't do speed runs. I never have. I like to just have fun and chill with my chat. Okay, so we gotta we gotta find what turns that uh, opens that door and gets that clock on. I use a standing get desk. Yes, I love my standing desk. Okay, let me make sure I didn't miss something up here while we're here. Okay, I'm good. I stopped my. I stopped my ranting. I apologize if that was annoying for you guys to have to listen to. Um, I probably should have cooled it more than that. So I do apologize for my behavior. Um, but we're good now. <laughs> I need to switch. I have one. Okay, so I went through that side. That's where the baddies were. Choco Bro says I thought the rant was funny. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not quite as yet. Okay. But I feel bad because, like, I don't know. I've, I don't, like, I've seen as rant and stuff, but not at a viewer. I feel bad ranting and against a viewer, especially since push-ups has been very um, <clears throat> active on my streams and supportive and all that. But oh my goodness, it's like, I just don't like when people are being a jerk either. It's like, okay, I appreciate that you're supportive, but you don't have to be a jerk every day. But I don't think he realized it. Like, that's why I'm not banning him or anything like that. And hopefully I didn't make him, uh, I didn't hurt his feelings so that he can still be a part of the community because I still want him to be a part of the community. But at least now he knows <laughs> that I think that's obnoxious and hopefully he can stop. <laughs> Austin with a $5 super chat. Did I see that? Hold on. I'm scrolling up. I'm scrolling up. Oh, Vyra with a $2 super chat says, have you seen the Tomb Raider revision shorts on YouTube? I watched those revisions back when they first dropped them in like 2005. Um, yeah, they're pretty good. Some of them are better than others. I, I really like the, uh, I really like the one from the artist who does Eon Flux stuff. Uh, what is it? Peter Chung? Something like that. Um, I That one was really good. I loved the art style on that one. And Minnie Driver did the voices. She did so good. Did I ever get a Death Note? Yes, I have the manga right there on my bottom shelf, the manga set. Um, and it's probably my favorite anime ever. I've been saying it's my favorite anime, but I am so obsessed with Jujutsu Kaisen right now. I think that might be my favorite at the moment. I think that may have dethroned that that's the thing though, it depends. The only reason why okay, because the first half of Death Note is a 10 out of 10. The second half, not so much. Still great, but not nearly as good as the first half. But Jujutsu Kaisen first season is like a 7.5 or an 8. Loved it, but objectively here. But season two is a 10 out of 10! It's a 10 out of 10. Like, it's literally perfect. Edge of your seat, incredible. So that's why I, it's kind of a toss up. Cause I feel like, okay, Tomb Raider is my favorite thing in the world. 
My second favorite thing in the world right now, well, obviously, Jesus and all that. So I'm talking. I'm ex I'm talking about worldly things. <laughs> My favorite worldly thing ever is is Tomb Raider. And then my second favorite worldly thing ever is probably Jujutsu Kaisen. I can't believe something new has done that for me. Okay, let me double check what this did because I forgot. Oh! See, I thought so. But it's time. See, I freaking am a moron and I forgot. Okay, well, this is definitely not gonna be our run. We gotta get back in here. I forgot. See, that's, you gotta double check things you've already done. Oh, the timing starts after the ramp, but I need to get in the boat for it. We're gonna have to redo it. Okay, here we go, you guys. They managed to pass AOT. And Death Note. Well, like I said, I'm still on the fence with Death Note if it's past it or not. Uh, yes and no. AOT? AOT's been dethroned from one of my favorite things for a long time now, ever since I read the mong the ending when the uh, from the manga and I didn't like how it ended. So, AOT's already dropped notches ever since that, which was like, what, a year or two ago? When I read the ending of that? That's what killed it for me. The second half of season four on the anime or and on how they ended it. It didn't end like I wanted it to. I don't wanna If you guys wanna hear how I think Attack on Titan should have ended, I'll explain it, but I'm gonna give you guys a chance to mute it for like I'll go like this whenever I'm done talking about it for those who don't want spoilers. Or I'm I'm only gonna take like a minute to talk about it. So if you don't want spoilers on Attack on Titan, Go ahead and close your ears. All right. So, that being said, the way I think Attack on Titan should have ended, I don't think it should have been Eren just being like, oh, I was just doing all that to help you because I love you guys because friendship and blah, blah, blah. And Eren dying and Mikasa being like, oh. this is how it should have ended. And I was a full-on Jaegerist, right? I just got a new freaking Eren Jaeger statue. Well, figure, PVC. So, this is how it should have ended. They should have kept Aaron Yeager bad. They should have kept him bad. And it should have ended with him being bad. I would have loved to see him succeed in that mission. And wipe all of them out. And then it have a, sad, a tragic ending. <laughs> I didn't want... I didn't want no, like, positive ending. I didn't want... Oh, Aaron wasn't really bad. He was actually just trying to help. No, I wanted it to be one of those villain stories where it's like, okay, Aaron was the bad guy. And he... So I wouldn't even have minded if he died if they took him out while he was doing something bad. But... That this one reason why I love Death Note is like Death Note you have a main character who gets corrupted and turns bad and it ends in a tragic way I love that those are my favorite types of stories uh, I mean look at even Anakin right so that's what I would have liked to have seen someone said Light did nothing wrong he absolutely did he was a psychopath but anyway, um, I would have liked to seen Aaron Yeager stay bad. Not, oh, wait, he was well-intended after all. No. But anyway, for anyone who had it muted, I'm done. You might want to avoid reading chat for a, uh, for a bit, but anyway. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's how I wanted it to be. Okay, let's go ahead and do this again. It's this one button. It's like, I, I, I remembered, but I, I was like, wait a minute, this button, I remember pushing it before, go, 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 oh my goodness, I'm injured, my health is blinking, 
I gotta remember the shortcut, though. No, it's not this way. Let me figure out pathing real quick. No, that's not the way. Okay, let me get my pathing down, because I can't remember. I'm directionally challenged. So I will get my pathing down. And then we'll go from there. So. Okay, we go over that ramp. Then we go straight. Oh yeah, we go straight. And we go through this. And then it should be to the right. Yeah, okay, we got passing. You know what's funny though? I want to say the first time I beat this, I didn't blow up those mines. I jumped off the boat and swam out the door. That's how I almost always do it, if I remember correctly. I never blow up the mines. I just jump out the boat and swim out the door. <laughs> okay, hold on. Now I'm, a now I'm trying to figure out how to navigate that thing again. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get back. It should be this... Thank you, Balo. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So we're gonna go over the ramp, straight, and then... Okay, I got it this time. <laughs> you wonder if there's an achievement for doing that? Oh, that would be amazing, because that's how I always did it. I never blew the freaking mines up. Oh, thank you again, Mouse Potato. Those are really delayed right now. Okay, here we go. Through here. Through here. We're going straight. And I'm telling you, it was tough to make it through that door in time when you're swimming. Okay, got all the secrets. Very good. Oh, that's fun stuff. Ooh, now this, this is fun. There's like these chandeliers that you get to jump on. Push-ups with the $5 super chat says, not going to make an excuse or explanation, just going to say, I didn't know, and I apologize in all possible humility. Thank you, push-ups. I'm sorry for going so hard at you. I was really ranting a lot, and I'm sorry. I know you didn't mean anything by it. Um, and I didn't, like I said earlier, I didn't think you were aware of it, that it was really frustrating. But thank you so much, and I do appreciate you being here in the community and I did go too hard at, at you. Um, so I am sorry for that, but thank you. Okay. Now we got the happy feels. Okay, now it's time. I just gotta not get my butt kicked by those dudes with the silencers. <laughs> Gilbert says, how do I get the cat off my name here? Well, you were gifted a sub, so that's a sub icon. Um, I have the cats there on Twitch. I do want to make new sub badges to use on Kick and YouTube and here. Because I think the sub badges on YouTube are owls. Which I do love owls, but I want to make... Uh, badges but I want to make them butter but I think for oh, I hear but I think for um uh -huh. see twitch has the tiered subs I don't know if I don't know if YouTube does it like that or not but on twitch I wanted to do three tiers I wanted tier one to be eggs or an egg with like a little chibi smiley face on it then tier 2 was going to be steak, and tier 3 was going to be butter. <laughs> so... I think that would be fine. <clears throat> Am 
Mine's everywhere. Uh, the General Z with the two dollar super chat says push ups and Mel for giving one another is what God wants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that dude come on oh. that was close someone said my uh -huh. hair looks soft it is kind of damaged because it's been bleached but it's fading the colors fading out of it it's all like yellow here since I bleached it I mean, I gotta do my roots, too, because they've grown in a lot. But I want this to fade more, because I think I want to go pink next. I want pink hair. But I want it to be, like, a warm, dusty pink. I don't want it to be, like, super Barbie pink. But I want that, like, warm, dusty pink. But I need this to fade more before I can do that. I was... I, that's at least what my mood is now. Because my mood the other day was I'm going purple. <laughs> which I still might do. Uh, we'll see what, by the time this is faded, what I'm feeling. And then I also was thinking about going like, like a raspberry red, but I don't know. Today I've just been in, I've just been wanting to be. Yay! Thank you so much, Michael. Three months with the prime sub. Thank you. Looks great on camera. Don't be too critical. Thank you, because I feel like my hair is a patchy mess right now. I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta clean this up. But I need it to fade. I've been using head and shoulder shampoo to fade it, because if I want to change the color, I need this to fade out. I might have to bleach it again, but I'm hoping I don't have to do that because that damages it. <gasps> Look! Look how good this looks! I love, love, love this level. Man, Tomb Raider 2 is so good. I, I just think that I've underrated it so bad. Because the traps are good. The platforming's really good. It is more action heavy than something like Tomb Raider 1, for example. But heck, it's so good. Saved. Saved. See ya, man. Thank you so much for gifting us stuff. I hear somebody. ever go back to the curls we'll see i've just been kind of over my curly hair because it's so fr it gets so frizzy and i struggle to keep the frizz down and i was just like well if i straighten it i don't have to go through all that hassle so i've been straightening it for a long time for months and months now almost a year but we'll see our zombie thank you so much for the <laughs> sub on twitch you're amazing thank you One Trick Donkey says, I find it funny. Everyone is about this game now. I played 30 years ago, lol, but it's still cool. Well, not quite 30 years. Came out in 1997, but I get what you're saying. We're getting near there. But yeah, I played it back in the day, too. I played it back in the 90s, too. 
But it's just amazing seeing it remastered like this. Would I ever date a stinky person asking for a friend? No, I would not. Now, if they're stinky because, oh, they were doing yard work or something, but then they take a shower. I mean, everyone gets stinky sometimes if they're working hard outside. <laughs> but someone who is consistently stinky? No! Well, that didn't do anything for me. Dude walking around. Oh, there he is. Come back out, homie. What kind of butter do I eat? Well, my fave is, I think the best butter is my mom will make homemade butter from their dairy cow. I like that, but I also get Kerrygold butter. Kerrygold butter is legit so good. Okay, I forgot to do all this stuff. really need to use other weapons uh -huh. and stuff sometimes. Like, why am I not using my automatic pistols? I get to... I hoard stuff too much without using it. Like, weapons and stuff. But it's time I use it. I thought I was clear. It's getting greedy, trying to get as close as possible to this thing. Oh, I do not like using the <sighs> packs because in Tomb Raider 2, they are scarce. Okay, that's what I needed to do. I goofed it up. I goofed it up. I got ahead of myself.
Douglas says, my favorite weapon is the shotgun. Nothing can compete with the raw power of it. It's just as effective in the sh as the shotgun in Doom. Nice. Come on. What are you shooting at? The stone statues there. Crap, how do I? Okay, I need to figure out how to get there. I need it. I've been getting all, so far I have all <laughs> the secrets. I can't abandon it now. Okay, let me figure this out. So, I think it had to do with this room, if I remember correctly. But, how did we get up there? Hmm. No. Heck! Yeah, because I don't see a way to get over there from there. Well, let's think, let's think. Okay, I can't figure it out at this moment. Um, it's too far of a jump on the one thing. And, like, there's a doorway, though. That doorway has to be the answer. Which, there it is. I'm not using, we're not using photo mode to cheat. We don't do that around here. So, <laughs> that was not possible. So, I let me just push this for a second. Okay, all right, nothing there. <laughs> it looks like there's <laughs> a freaking door. Well, that being in the way is, okay. <laughs> I 
I want that freaking dragon. Oh, wait a minute. No. Because you can't turn off, turn that way. Okay, so that won't work. All right, well, maybe we'll be able to find that at another time. <laughs> Okay, now we can do this. I feel like it's such a waste using auto pistols on dogs. Now the pistol guys, the silence pistol guys, it's totally worth it, but... go that's much better because oh my goodness they can just hit you for a lot does she not drop anything oh my goodness i can't believe looking at this with these graphics all right so beat the chandeliers soon. $20 super chat says yo Mel been watching your channel and side scrollers just recently am starting to get involved with the community thanks for all your hard work in helping me learn about God and just self improvement in general oh thank you thank you so much all right and stinky face with the $2 super chat says wait what's wrong with stinky people <laughs> oh no <laughs> Stinky people lives matter. the two dollars super chat i was at this part when carolyn got fired oh no well i'm so glad she found better working with the ripiverse hold on before i advance i just want to okay this is where i was at earlier in that okay 
Okay, we're good, we're good. <gasps> I remember this part. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this. All right, ready? Did I gum it? Okay, let's see it again. Tomb Raider 2 has some great traps. There we go. Lawlets. <gasps> I love, love, love this part. One of the best. I freaking love it. Now look at the difference graphically too. So good. Okay, I adore this. So many good memories of this. Let me make sure over here. Okay, okay. Just don't wanna miss any pickups or anything. Okay, so we're gonna pull chains and stuff that can... Wait, hold on to right here. <laughs> Just gotta check my surroundings. this that we're supposed to do. <laughs> I love this! <laughs> uh. Thank you again, General Z. Oh, I need... A running jump will make us miss it too. <laughs> oh, I remember. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> no, we got it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, behind the fireplace. Hold on. That is this. Now that I can get this to work, okay. There's the gold one! We still gotta get that other one. I, my, my finding all the secrets streak may sadly end on this level. stone one and I have no memory of that 
that jade one here either. So, but we'll see. Oh yes, they did an amazing job with these remasters. <clears throat> Phenomenal. I love them so much. I didn't watch the Elden Ring trailer, DLC trailer yet. I've still got to beat that on my own time. So I'm just going to wait until I beat it before I do the, uh, before I even think about doing any DLC stuff. Here's the spicy Tomb Raider theme. Oh, I think we need to lower one of the chandeliers to have us reach that. Man, this brings back memories. I always loved this segment. <laughs> You kind of look like Ariana Grande and Victorious before she swapped races. <laughs> That's so funny. I haven't heard that one, but thank you. <laughs> Did I save it after I got the secret and all that? I can't remember. I mean, <laughs> we'll find out if I pull that lever. Someone's trying to cause trouble in chat. Look, Mr. Glasses, what we're not going to do is have you in chat trying to discourage people away from the word of God. So, if you don't want to be saved by Jesus Christ, God gave you free will, but you are not about to, to try to discourage people and get them off the path that's one thing you're not gonna do or you're gonna get your butt banned so this is your first and last warning Ew. 
If he says one more thing like that, he's getting banned. I will not have people in my chat discouraging people from the word of God and from Jesus. Get behind me, Satan. I rebuke you. So you can cut it out or you will get banned. Yes, he's arguing bad faith. I noticed it. Okay, let's go get that. Make sure since I... I don't think that the secret, it will give it to me if I, since I'm, oops, since I'm like, let's try again, let's try again, make sure, since if I'm loading another save, I think this is what got me in trouble last time when I was getting, yep, when I was getting secrets, I was reloading and forgetting to go get them again. Melanie Mad does come out sometimes. So, some people have seen it. <laughs> I mean, I did today earlier. <laughs> after this because like last time I I really messed that I think well I know that there is a someone said that there was some glitches on the remasters that sometimes don't give you the secrets that you got but I do think that I forgot like I since I was reloading I don't know I think that's what stopped me from getting some of them even though I got them but now we're good. I saved it. Use a shotgun. Was it Doug who said that was his fave? Whoever said the shotgun was their fave earlier, this is for you. <laughs> I love that Lara Croft shoots mice with pistols. I just love that she does that. <laughs> yes, that was Douglas. I thought so. <sighs> okay, here we go. Come on out. <laughs> Got him that time. Shotgun to the face. How's he like that? Nathan says Melanie is going to be very mad when Phoebe Waller bridge uh -huh. is done with Lara. I swear. All that stuff Amazon is doing, the game they're working on with Crystal Dynamics, 
the TV show, the movie, the Netflix adaptation. I'm about to get real mad. Y'all are going to see Melanie Mac come Melanie Mad come out. Like I'm going to have all kinds of go boom videos for that trash. And then after we're done with all those monstrosities and those tank, then Embracer can fire Crystal Dynamics and they can just let Aspire do the classic stuff and we can all be happy again. Okay, so the chandeliers have moved. Legacy says, I feel like I disagree with you threatening to ban that guy. Then you are no better than the libs that can't tolerate any dissenting opinions. If someone wants to challenge the word of God, let believers in the word speak for themselves. I had to look at the chat and there were people challenging him back. Well, that's where I disagree with you because there are going to be some who are weak in faith and stuff. And when you're talking about people coming in here doing Satan's work, trying to get people off the path to Christ... No, they're gone. I don't care if I'm compared to a lib. This isn't about politics. This is about people's eternal salvation. And so when I see someone deliberately trying to turn people from eternal salvation, um, that's like murder. Y'all can call me dramatic, but it is. You are trying to keep them from eternal salvation. And you are trying to... murder their eternal soul then get out of my house with that this is my stream my house they can have they can have debates all they want elsewhere about it but not on my stream they can't I mean, it's literally doing the work of Satan in chat. Literally doing the work of Satan. No. Uh -huh. I rebuke that. Okay, so that key... That was maybe here. Well, wait, I'm trying to recall where that key was. Or where I needed to put that key. I thought it was in the room before this. Or, no, it was in here. It was in the swimmy part. <laughs> five months sure calm with a five dollar super chat says i think you should open up the melanie mega church <laughs> well i don't agree with female pastors or anything like that so i, I i'll just stick to youtube evangelism <laughs> level so heckin much oh two reader two is so good it's just so freaking great two guys with pistols ah! oh my goodness 
I need to use some heavier firepower for this. Oh my goodness! Do you see how many freaking... See the damage they did! Oh! Uh -huh. Struggle is real on Tomb Raider 2. Uh -huh. Oh, Uzi mags. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why my alerts are so late. Thank you again, Byra. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to abandon that library area, though, because I know there was something else in there. Let me just save. There, like, you can climb up. There we go. You can climb up the bookshelves. <laughs> That's first person to rare. guy because oh, I don't like that. Those guys pack a punch, unfortunately. Where is he at? Come back! Okay, now that opened this. I remember almost dying here a lot. Because... 
There's a dude who will shoot at you, and I remember being out of out of um, medi packs. Oh, <gasps> wait, never mind. Okay, yeah, uh, the alerts are a little delayed. did pretty good there though. Uh-huh. Even with standard pistols. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got the TNT thing. I love uh -huh. this. Oh my goodness. Tomb Raider 2 is so freaking good. I love this. Okay, now let me just remember where that TNT thing was. Got us floaty some stuff. <coughs> ah! That guy's almost killed me before. <sighs> but he does drop the med pack. Uh huh. Well, not even almost. That guy's killed me a lot. All right, now the splody, the splody stuff. I gotta remember where that was. It was outside somewhere, which I believe this way. Here it is. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for the explosion? James, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Good evening, Lady Mac. Are you going to heckle Razor Fist and call him a baggot for his scrubby Tomb Raider remaster? <laughs> no, because I think that everybody needs that learning curve and stuff. That's totally normal. I would have uh, heckled him if he used a guide, though. That's what it would have made me get on his case, but... It's fine. <laughs> He's allowed to learn. Oh, look! As long as someone's not using a guide, then I will not be mad. Where is he? I love that TNT part. Yep, that's where I draw the line, guys. <laughs> Jim Melanie's Guide to Tomb Raider. Do it yourself. Exactly! There is my extensive guide. Get good, scrub. There it is. Get good. Of that player. Oh, we're almost getting to the opera house. <laughs> you 
wonder if I've ever said the F-bomb and you're not talking about what rhymes with maggot. The one that rhymes with tough. I don't use swear words. But I do use slurs. <laughs> Take that as you will. Trying to sneeze. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, I'm not speedrunning anything. I don't speedrun Tomb Raider games. I like to fully enjoy them. <laughs> Thank you for the bless you. <sighs> I love this. Look how good it looks. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Um, I love, 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 love Opera House. It's so fun. I don't want to have to rush through it. So I got to go to bed kind of early tonight because um, I've got side scrollers in the morn. So I hope to see you guys there on the side scroller stream. Tom Berry Master dropped the $50 super chat. Yay. Three hours plus some um, stream money. Thank you. You're so supportive and amazing. Thank you all so much. I'm also sorry for losing my cool earlier and getting snappy i shouldn't have done that but thank you guys thank you so much um i will i, I hope to see you on side scrollers i'll be on side scrollers side scrollers podcast push-ups with the two dollar super chat says virtual hug before you go of course thank you all so much much love i will 